Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Film Trendings. We're back with another video for all of you. Pawn Stars is an American reality TV series that shows the daily activities of the world famous gold and silver pawn shop. The business was originally started by Richard Harrison, his son Rick Harrison, Rick's son Corey Harrison, and Corey's friend Austin Russell. The series was debuted in 2009 and has now completed 17 seasons and became the network's highest rated show too. After his father Richard's death, Rick Harrison is now one of the most skilled members of the Pawn Stars gang. Today, we'll tell you about the times Rick schemed his customers on the show. Pawn shops have been around for many years and are among the oldest forms of banking. Customers provide an item as guarantee to receive a loan from a pawnbroker, and if they fail to return the loan plus interest and time, the pawnbroker can sell the product. Rick pitched the idea of a show about pawn shops for almost four years. History Channel's president, Nancy Dubuck, finally picked up the show, and the show gained popularity in a very small time. Rick has been enjoying the success of the show for almost 12 years now, and with time, he's become very experienced and can most easily scam any seller. So now, without further ado, let's have a look at some of the times Rick managed to make some pretty valuable purchases for a much smaller price than the actual worth of the product. Before moving on, if you're new to our channel and you're enjoying our content, click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you can get notifications when we upload new exciting videos for you and you don't miss out on our content. Spanish Gold Bar from a Shipwreck A man came onto the show with a gold bar that he found while cleaning the attic after his grandparents' death. He thought that the item could be worth some money, so he brought it to the shop. The gold bar had a symbol imprinted on it, and the coral on the bottom indicated that it had been in the ocean for a long time. With the help of an expert, it was confirmed that the gold bar was a shipwrecked treasure. After some negotiations, the owner of the bar was offered $35,000 and he took it. The gold bar later turned out to be worth $50,000. 1842 5th Edition Book of Mormon out of the various experts that come onto the show to analyze the artifacts, Rebecca Romney, who was a rare books expert, has now become popular on the internet because of the show. In one of the episodes of the show, Rebecca came to analyze someone's copy of the fifth edition of the Book of Mormon. The book's value was found to be $40,000, but Rick played smart and made the deal with the owner of the book for just twenty-four grand. Fabergé Spider Brooch a seller showed up at the shop to pawn a piece of jewelry that was given to them by a relative. The seller had no idea of the worth of the item. The seller showed Rick the spider brooch. Rick examined it, and he looked very nervous and excited while doing it. Rick understood that he was holding something of great value in his hands. Even though the seller only asked for a couple of thousand dollars for it, Rick surprised everyone by giving her a very generous offer of 15 grand. Unaware of the original worth of the brooch, the seller took the offer and the worth of the spider brooch was afterwards revealed to be $80,000. Rick took advantage of the ignorance of the seller and earned himself a pretty great deal. 2001 New England Patriots Super Bowl Championship Ring New England Patriots former secondary Brock Williams came to the shop to make a deal for his commemorative 2001 Super Bowl Championship Ring. Rick was very excited when he saw the ring. The ring was covered with 143 diamonds and was made of 14 karat white gold. What's special about the ring was that it was the first time a ring exceeded the National Football League's expense limit. Even though Williams ended up taking a loan of only $2,600, Harrison revealed later that he would not sell the ring for less than hundred grand. It is still a mystery why Brock never returned to take his ring back. John F. Kennedy's Cigar Humidors in 2013, a customer brought a humidor and several unsmoked cigars for evaluation. The box of cigars turned out to be a possession of President John F. Kennedy. It was found that the box was with President Kennedy when he was in the White House. Rick knew that this is something of value and he countered the seller's demand of $95,000 with sixty dollars and finalized the deal. At the Sotheby's auction, another one of the president's humidors was sold for $575,000 and this meant that Rick managed to grab quite a brilliant deal. And that's it for today, folks. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it. Tell us in the comments section what are your favorite items ever pawned on the show, and don't forget to click the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time.